Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a deep dive into the latest custom room for the POCO F3 Bliss ROM version 17.7 running on Android 14. Let's see what this ROM has to offer and whether it's worth flashing on your device. Bliss ROM has always been known for blending functionality with customization. The latest release version 17.7 is based on Android 14. is an unofficial build but still offers a ton of features for those looking to enhance their POCO F3 experience. A smooth transition showcasing the main features of Blissroom with text overlays and phone close-ups. Let's start with the highlights of this build. Vanilla build. Visual shows the clean, uncluttered UI, no pre-installed apps other than the essentials. This version of Blissroom is vanilla build, meaning it's lightweight and bloat-free. You won't find any unnecessary apps or features here, leaving you with a pure rendered experience. So, screen recording showing device certification in Google Play settings. The device is fully certified which is a huge plus for this who use apps that require Google Play certification like Netflix, banking apps or Google Pay. Demonstrate Dolby Atmos settings showing how to adjust the sound profiles, uh, giving you high quality audio straight out of the box whether you are watching movies or listening to music, this is a huge upgrade from the stock audio. Now let's start performance, the ROM is running on Android 14. And from my testing, everything feels snappy and responsive. Let's break it down into categories like YouTube, Chrome, Instagram, and show multitasking between them. For day-to-day -day tasks, this ROM performs admirably. Apps open quickly, multitasking is smooth, and I did not encounter any crashes or bugs. When it comes to gaming, the Poco F6 Snapdragon 870 continues to shine. I tested several games, including BGMI. And the performance was excellent. No frame drops, minimal heating and overall life, but a smooth experience. Bad life is always a concern with custom ROMs. In my testing, Blissroom provided a screen on time of around 6 to 7 hours with mixed usage. It's efficient, but your mileage may vary depending on how you use your smartphone. RAM management is solid on this build. Apps stay in memory for longer. And I did not experience any force closures even when switching between demanding apps. One of the best things about Blissroom is the level of customization it offers. From status bar tricks to guest navigation, you can truly make this ROM your own. You have full control over the UI elements, change your ascent colors, fonts, icon shapes and more. Dark mode looks fantastic on the POCO F3 Samuel screen. Blissroom also lets you tweak the system animations and gestures. You can configure everything from how fast tabs open to how they close, giving you complete control over the user experience. So far, Blissroom version 17.7 has been pretty stable. However, since this is an initial release, this are, there are a few bugs you should be aware of. As with most custom rooms, there might be some quinks, but during my testing, I did not encounter any deal-breaking bugs. Most core features works as intended. For those who are interested in trying out this ROM, the installation process is pretty straightforward. You'll need to be on the recommended firmware for your device and make sure you have custom recovery like TWRP installed. To wrap things up, Blissroom 17.7 is on Android 14 is an excellent choice for POCO F3 users looking for a clean, fast and customizable experience. The vanilla build ensures no unnecessary bloat and the addition of Dolby support takes the media experience to the next level. However, as with any custom ROM, you should be comfortable with the flashing process and aware that you may encounter minor bugs. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech and custom ROM content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.